Amigo, thanks to your killer website, I'm getting a ton of radical gigs. Good, I'm glad. Are they paying? I don't know why you've always got to barf all over my joyous mood. No, they're not paying. That's not the way the system works, Joe. All right, sorry. Did you see that? Oh, God. What? Oh, my God. What? what? There is a pantless priest trying to kill me. Abe, there's no pantless priest trying to kill you. I promise. I don't know, man. I've been seeing them all over town. You're fine. All right, maybe. Maybe you're right. Probably just thinking so much about death since you have to go to that wake today. Yeah, Kim's friend's dad. I don't know her friend or dad. What the well, hell am I supposed to say? Well, you can always say I'm sorry for your loss or my condolences. I'm partial to condolences since it's less words. Yeah, I guess I'll go with loss. I don't know. It feels like a lose-lose situation. Yeah. Like, you never use that phrase under any other circumstances, you know? It's like we're reminding the grieving person they're supposed to be grieving. Maybe I'll say I'm sorry for your loss to somebody else who's at the wake to remind her that she's not alone in her loss. You That's know? a good idea. I think so. I tell you what I'm not going to do, though. I'm not going to spout off all that bullshit, cliche, happy stuff uh, that people love to say to grieving people. I'm better than that. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm not going to the wake. Instead, I'm going to Dairy Queen and getting myself a motherfucking Orange Julius. All most people do is try and one-up the person who's grieving. What? What the hell does that mean? You know, they'll be like, oh, well, my family died in a car accident two years ago, so I know what you're feeling. But what's the grieving person supposed to do with that information? Lighten up, okay? This is not about you. I'm saying it is about me. Come on. Saying I don't know what I'm supposed to say. This isn't to the about person. you. Just let it go. It's a nice suit. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks. And I, uh, I lost my favorite jacket. I can't remember for the life of me where it went. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry, Lucy. I lost my grandmother last month, so I know how you feel. Thanks. It took me like three months to get over my uncle when he passed. My dog died last year. It was the hardest thing I ever had to deal with. Seriously, your dog? What happened? I told you. Lucy. What happened to him? Well, my father used to like to play, and before I'd come home, he'd hide in the pull-out couch every day and pop out. And I didn't have my keys that day, so I called my mom, and we got in like half hour too late. And there he was, in the couch, dead. Wait, so you got stuck in the couch? Yes, and he never popped out. He never surprised me. Well, I guess that was the ultimate surprise. My condolences. Thanks. That's nice to hear. That really sucks. What are you doing? Clarence, what the hell are you doing here? Obvious, pay my respects to Lucy's dad. Well, how long were you up here? Like 20 seconds? It's gotta be a minute and a half minimum, man. A Everybody minute, knows that. A minute and a half? A minute we're, and a half. We're holding up the line. Let them wait, they know the system. 90 seconds? 90 seconds, pay respects. But now we're both standing here. Two for two people, two minutes. Better dig in. Two minutes? Yeah. I don't even know this guy. What, he, I, I don't, what, he doesn't want me looking over him. But yes, he does, look, he's enjoying it. He looks angry. Just be respectful. You didn't even wear a tie to this thing? What's the matter with you? You're wearing a fur coat. Everybody knows that fur is the utmost form of respect. Why do you think all those mafia people wear that stuff? Bada bing. I mean, it has to have been long enough. You know, you don't want to offend anybody. Heard about your that sucks comment. What? What do you mean you heard? Yeah, Lucy was upset. What? Lucy's very upset. Are you serious? Look at her. She's right over there. I was just trying to make her feel better, you know? I'd go apologize. I think it's been long enough. This is ridiculous. Hey man, what's up? Hey, what are you doing? I'm in a wake. Good, so you're not busy. Uh, look, I need you to do something for me. You need to pick up a picture of Edward James Olmos. He's the greatest living Mexican actor and I need to channel his aggression. His things that he sure, does. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Chance has already fucked it up like six times today. I've had to whip him, I've had to beat him, he got the wrong fucking thing. He got fucking Peter Chris. I thought you said make up or no, break up! No, nobody likes Peter Chris. I want Edward James Olmos. Look, I Joe, you have to get Edward James Olmos and bring him here. I can't go on stage without it. I'm fucking freaking out. And Chance just keeps bringing me fucking shit. There's 10,000 people out there, Chance. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll leave right now. <sighs> All right. Thank you, thank you. I, I need it. You know, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to help you. What? Why? Yeah, I need to stay here. 
You're gonna you're gonna fucking regret this, Joe. I promise you that. They want you on in ten minutes. When are we gonna have our special Come time? Come on, yoga woman. I'm trying to deal with all this shit right now. I got fucking Peter, Chris. You're coming at me. I have to, I have to go fucking play. Jesus. I only need a minute. I was just trying to make you understand that, you know, like we all are dealing with loss, so you're not alone in your loss. Oh, so my father's death and Gary's coat are equal on the grieving meter. Well, no, I wouldn't say equal, but you know, they're- And they're... honestly, I saw you smirk when I was describing my dad's passing. Well, I thought you were joking, providing some kind of levity. I mean, stuck and in the couch. you were standing over him for two minutes. I, what, Clarence, two minutes? Clarence said that there's a two minute grieving period. Who's ever heard of two minutes? It's 30 seconds max. Right? That's what I said. Not right. Yes, no, I, I, 30 seconds. If your Lucy, family. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, somebody just did a hit and run on your car. What? Yeah, they oh, hit and run right now. I'm that's sorry. Great. Well, at least. Look, I agree with the 30 second period. You take period. this. Okay. You need it more than I do. Oh, Bye. that's sweet. But it, it, it's just. Hey. Ready to go? Uh, yeah, are you? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is for you. That's a dead man's flowers, Joe. Oh, no, they're not. I didn't Those know. are his last flowers, Joe. I just, they was pretty. Believe I wanted man, to give it to you. Believe his flowers, Joe. Okay, all right. Hey, let me see. Uh, hey, let's get together soon, okay? All right. Thank you. Okay. I'm really sorry for your loss. I mean, your dad, not the car. Well, the car too, I guess, but... Just, uh, take it easy. Average Joe. Average Joe. Some guy you know. Joe. Named Average Joe. Average Joe. Average Joe, average Joe, average Joe, some guy you know, Joe, Joe, Joe.